Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, very quickly before the video begins, I just thought I'd do my final shout out to repeat.gg. Again, a relatively new partner here at Huzzy Games. We did a shout out at the beginning of the month and I thought I'd do one with about a week left to go of the tournament. If you haven't entered yet, now is the time. Uh, you're not at a crazy disadvantage for entering late because I'll explain how it works. But yeah, go in the description down below, sign up, click in, and obviously you can enter a bunch of different tournaments. And obviously my one at the moment is at the top, Huzzy Games $500 cup free play. So anybody can enter and it's $500 uh, in, the, in the total prize pool. So if we click on it, just to say... Um, the reason why you can still enter, and it's not a big deal, uh, I guess, uh, if you haven't entered already, what it does is it goes off your top three solo queue performances when you've ent entered the, the tournament. So obviously, if you entered right at the beginning, that is more of an advantage because that gives you more time to play more games to get better scores. Uh, but with a week left to go, you can play a lot of solo queue in that time. So get yourself entered completely for free. You might just end, you know, winning up a bit, a bit of money, which is awesome. Um, so currently, the, the winner is absolutely killing it. And that's their average for three games. Worth reminding people when the tournament ends, Ends, the staff at repeat will go through these accounts just to make sure they're legitimate they're not smurfing because you know it's pretty obvious if an account is smurfing or not so don't worry about that that will be looked into but get yourself entered and just to say how does it work here is the scoring so every kill that you get is worth five points death's actually minus if points minus three assist is three minions killed wins obviously helps total healing total damage and total buildings worth also noting i thought i mentioned this time uh, there is no disadvantage or advantage to technically be in each rating of the game. I remember seeing in the in the comments of the last announcement, oh, I'm in silver, what's the point? A challenger player is clearly going to win. That is not necessarily true. What you have to remember is it you're playing on your main account in your main rating. A challenger player is not going to get 20 kills in a challenger game. That's nearly impossible because the, their opponents are so much better. Yes, they're a great player, but their opponents are better. If you're silver and it's a crazy fiesta game, a silver player can get 20, 25 kills in a game. 100%. It's rarer to get those type of kills at higher ratings. So if anything, it's actually a disadvantage to be a higher rating player in this, not a disadvantage to be low rating. And also just to say how the prize pooling is working, again, it's $500 total. The guy who comes in first will be earning $50, then 30, then 20, then 10, then five, and then it goes down obviously piece by piece. But basically this is an introduction to repeat, enter my tournament, but then again, get involved in the other tournaments. And you know, if you do a couple each month, you can probably accumulate quite a bit of money or or you can get points on the website, then go up to their marketplace, which is just out of camera shot up here. Um, so go check it out. Link down below. Also, there are Riot Point giveaways happening, by the way. If you go on repeat.gg's social media, go on their Twitter. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, they're hosting a lot of Riot Point giveaways with us content creators. So I think I'm hosting with them a $100 Riot Point giveaway. Um, so yeah, go on repeat.gg's social media. Find those giveaways if you are interested in those as well. But that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Good luck if you are going to enter. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron Master. We return, gold one somewhere. We're playing a Lowey because there's a Renekton pick. Unfortunately, again, it's becoming more and more and more common. It, it Again, it looks like we're in flex queue again. Duo, duo, duo. It's like, dude, people duo way too much nowadays, but whatever. Um, we've got a one trick Talon that's not playing Talon, but they are playing Vladimir. Again, Vladimir is one of those champs that pretty much anybody can play to a, an okay level. He's not overly complicated. Uh, enemy comp, uh, they're mainly AD. They do have a bit of AP with Maud, but like not overly. Like he's melee AP, so it's actually more avoidable probably. So that isn't too bad. Our team is actually a bit more balanced, but whenever I see a Callista, it makes me nervous. Because like, I don't know if anybody else is the same. Callista either goes incredibly well or incredibly bad. Uh, there's not really an in-between with that champion. Um, I like our comp though overall. We've got very good team fight, so hopefully we'll be fine again. In the 1v1 in top lane, well, I say the 1v1, again, because it's a duo queue, it's not going to be a 1v1 if we're honest. It's just going to be me getting camp probably. But Alawi is the type of champion that if we play really well, we might actually be able to 2v1 eventually. So just have to play well, play smart, don't feed, and uh, hopefully that'll be fine. But, so without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing. Oh, and also remi reminding people, if you want to have this, these stats over here yourself, check the link down below. It'll be like, what loading screen am I using? And there'll be a link. Click that. You can download Porofessor. 
And if you use my link, obviously I get a bit, a bit of a kickback per download. Uh, so I'd massively appreciate that if you uh, want to do that. But uh, yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Alawi in the top lane. All right, welcome to the game. Today we're playing Alawi. We're invading, apparently. I guess uh, our invade isn't incredible. Do, 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 do. We got a hook. I'm going to go Q regardless. Um, okay. Let's go. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, that's not great timing. I don't want to click it. Oh, I got a tentacle. Is that in the bush? I actually don't know. I think it is. So remember, our bot lane is duo. Hooky, hooky, hook. We actually probably still get the kill. Yeah, they still get that. They still get that. Oh, Vlad. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I don't know if that's worth. Yo, yo, yo. Hook, 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 hook. Hey. Wait, why have you got a Doran's ring? Uh-huh. Is that a thing? They could be doing this. I'm delaying myself so much. Yeah. The reason why I predicted they're doing that, duo queue. Legit. I'm not even kidding. When people are duo queue, you can predict how they're going to play. And they're together, so they're going to try and steal that. I'm also predicting that Jarvan's probably going to still come top. Duo queues, man. Again, I I do think down upon duo queues a bit, but I wish I duo queued. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, it's just easier. You just gotta play passive. Give me E. Oh, we're one minion away. Yes. That's a good hit. Very nice. This Renekton doesn't respect my damage yet. Uh, Gragas died, which isn't great. Bot lane seems to be doing pretty good. Renekton might have already gone back. <clears throat> Probably. Um, which is good for me. I'm presuming Vlad's going to have a relatively free lane. He went back. Hmm. If I don't get bullied by this Renekton in the early game, then I'm pretty sure we're just going to snowball. I want. If you're wondering where I want to get to, it, it's pretty obvious. But I want to get to the stage that I can two v one them. Look at that damage already. I what on earth? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What? Which one do I want to go? There's two ways you can build a lower. You can max E or you can max Q. Q is more like you're going to get the damage down no matter what. E you do if you're confident you're going to land your E. So far, we've already landed a few, so I'm going to go with E. I'm a bit... I feel a bit confident right now. I weirdly thought he... Oh, he's back there. So remember, we've already made him go back once. Um, The Gragas gank, yeah, he got his flash, but it didn't really do much more than that. Thank you. Yeah, spot lane. Well done. Cool. Charman's mid. Renekton doesn't have teleport right now, so this is great. He's m missing out on... He's about to miss out on, like, a whole minion wave. Damn, this Renekton's getting over. We're double farm right now. 
I'm actually very surprised that Jarvan hasn't been top. Very surprised. Because, like, by the time that Jarvan comes top, I'm going to have my first base already in, and I'll be probably level 6 or nearly level 6. It might be too late. It's possible. Right, cool. That's really good for me. We might have outscaled him. I, I think we've outscaled him already in the 1v1. He's played this way too passive. Um, in order for like people are like, how can he play aggressive when you're hammering him that much with damage? Uh, he needs to avoid my E number one, and yeah, he needs to like play ag aggro on top of me to like play aggro enough that my tentacles can't do anything. Basically, I'm gonna save my teleport though because I am feeling just to explain the thought process. I think I'm going to get ganked soon, so I'd rather, if I get ganked and have to go back, or if I do die, I'd rather have teleport to go straight back to lane when I'm already still far ahead. I don't need to teleport right now. Like, yeah, I'm missing a cat and I'm missing minions, but at least I keep my teleport because I think I'm going to get ganked. That's the thought process of keeping TP. Ah, see? Like that. He dodges, and now he can actually trade well. That's how he can actually fight me. But that was my mistake of missing my E. That was impatience. Jarvan's here. He's not? Okay, I could have killed Renekton. Damn. His positioning was just like screaming to me that Jarvan was here. And apparently he wasn't. He was here. Nice counter game by Gragas. I think I was fine, but it's good that he helped. So I guess maybe now the Renekton's like, Dude, I need help. Please, duo, help me. Again, I think it is too late. Personally, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if they chain their CC perfectly, I'll be dead. Possibly. Gragas. Dude's AFK. My god. Wait, 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 wait. Vlad died to Mord? With ult up and both summoners. Did he DC? What? Oh my god. God, that's so bad from me. Vlad died. Huh. How's bottling going? It's pretty good, actually. They're just farming, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Callista scales really well. I'm, I get. I'm just very surprised with mid. That's fine. So Renekton got a kill, but look, we're still 30 farm ahead. So not. We got the kill on Jarvan as well. So it's not a massive deal. I think if we played that perfect, I think we would have been okay. Possibly. That looks okay. Never mind. 
fed Maud. Again, Maud is actually the one person I really didn't want to get fed this game because they're basically full AD apart from Maud. So it's like, we could build armor and then, you know, kill Maud, but he's actually getting fed. So it's like, eesh. Eesh. If the Jarvan goes the squishy build, I think that's really good for us, by the way. I think it's a massive mistake if he goes the squishy build. Because if you look at his team... Am I not in range? Oh my god, I'm not in range. Oh look who's back, his duo. It didn't even matter. I think a Callista top, you're trash if you play it. I hate cheese picks. I hate cheese picks more than like probably anything. Just play standard picks. Like I think one of the biggest things that be that has been personally hurting my enjoyment of League is that I think a lot of players care less about being good at the game anymore. They care about rating, and that is the number one thing. Rating is number one. So they'll cheese any rating that they can get. Like, it's, it's yeah. I think that's just kind of hurt. It just hurt my, at least my enjoyment of the game, for sure. Good dragon take. Uh, Martin Simonette. Welcome, dude. Or Simonette. Simonette, possibly. I, I flowed that into one name and it might have been several. <sighs> this game is going to be hopefully a win. Bot lane's doing good. So when we're grouping up, they have to deal with Tentacle, Alawi. They have to deal with a, Kal a Kalista that's going to be hopping around. And then a Vladimir. I think our fight team fight's pretty good. I wonder who Maud's going to prioritize trying to steal, though. Probably either me or Vlad. What I consider cheese picks. Everybody's got their own definition of it. Mine is just if a champion's not designed to go somewhere and you're playing it there, it's pretty much a cheese pick. And there's different, I guess, scales of cheese picks, but yeah. So the Renekton actually has started to play more aggressive, by the way, which is... Well, I guess he's playing more aggressive now that he got a kill. But it's kind of weird. Wow. Uh, and obviously Jarvan's coming top lane more, but I kind of expected that at the beginning of the game. Oh my god. Like That's the type of thing that I literally just can't afford to do. Look how bad the trade is for me that I missed that one E. And that's the problem with maxing E. It's when so much of your damage is into basically poking. When an actual all-in happens, if you miss your E, it's really bad. Really? That hit. Surprised that hit, if I'm honest. Jarvan's going mid. He does face tag quite a lot of those, which is good. It's just though it's it's good to get him down at this health and stuff, but it's just that one E that you miss is your opening that you die. That's the unfortunate thing with Alawi. It's like, dude, we're playing really well, poking him down. I missed one E, and you're dead. And he's dead. What he just died to was impatience. He should have just walked away. Because now he died, which is giving me gold. I'm getting more farm. And now he's missing XP. So like the, the, the him dying there is the worst situation he can actually ask for. And bot lane just died. So Gragas giving me that. Uh, full AP Gragas I'm not a massive fan of. But whatever. 
Again, if you look at our comp, do we need him to go damage? No. We definitely don't. Why have I got Christmas music in my head? I don't know. I think the Vlad might be doing the same thing that the Dari uh, the Renekton's doing. Like, look, why isn't this guy going back? I can nearly guarantee that this Vlad's going to die within the next minute. Uh, Thunder, understand, man. Welcome, dude. <laughs> you were singing Jingle Bells the other day. I know, what the hell? Like, why are we singing Christmas music? Is it just because Christmas music is known to be jovial? And obviously, at the moment, things are a bit depressing. Possibly. I wonder if I could 2v1 them with like a perfect E with my ultimate and they both are on top of me. And now I've got Merc Tread so I get CC'd less. Maybe. If you're wondering, has you pressed ultimate? It was on purpose. A lot of people don't realize that uh, Alawi's ultimate, when you press it, they, it speeds up your tentacles. Tentac yeah. Um, so if you get your E on them, and then your passive tentacles from that E are going to go whack them, you're actually speeding them up. So it gives you more of a chance to actually get a kill. We're missing, mo like, we missed that dragon, but that's not too bad. We're one dragon apiece. I get tier two. What the hell? That went well. Don't know if I needed a teleport. Like, the fight might have been basically over by the time I got there, but I also think my teleport made the enemy team run away. I'm going to try to kill Renekton. So he's got his black cleaver done. Um. Pretty, pretty sure I've got him. <laughs> Where are you gonna go, buddy? <laughs> oh, I love it. So I flashed to get the E on him just to get the slow, by the way. Yeah, they like this this is a good like showing of outscaling. Like there's honestly the the, the Renekton isn't he played too passive in the early game, I'll say that. But the actual player, yeah, he doesn't seem too bad. Uh this is just the difference of these two champions. And Jarvan, by the way, has done the completely wrong build this game. It's so greedy for him to go Warrior Tiamat in a game that, like, arguably both of these junglers should just be going tanky. It probably helps out both teams way more. No. Oh! Wow. That was close. Why is Alawi not played often? Uh, she's actually not that good. Uh, the higher rating you go, the less effective Alawi is. Um, because I know this is something go, how's every champion is. Alawi's counted by CC. The higher rating you go, people are better with 
prioritizing targets they need to CC, and also they're better at like, so they're better at prioritizing it, and they're also better at just using the CC. So Alawi just gets prioritized, chain CC'd, and then literally can do nothing. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, we're still in lane phase right now, but I'm okay with it. I think we outscale the enemy team, so. And I can just keep killing Renekton in the 1v1. And arguably because of Jarvan's build, I think I kill them both. I think I can 2v1 right now. Like Master Yeet. Yeah, same thing. That's why Master Yeet is pretty much not effective in any rating above, like, bronze. Why are my bot lane there? She died here. Interesting. And obviously that's not to say that Masi can't do well in like higher rating, but it's just, it's a lot rarer. If you've got like no comp, oh brilliant, we're going to lose because of her lagging. Uh, if you've got a comp with no CC, then maybe a Yi can do well, but yeah. And obviously a lot of people just play funnel Yi, that's like the way that you make him work. He's like, you put all your strength onto just one champion, funnel. Because ain't that fun. What? Okay, more's coming. If I'm fighting Maud, by the way, um, well, that's unfortunate. that actually hit. Gragas should be going to go over there. Actually, that's probably something I dislike more than cheese picks. Funnel. Hmm. Probably. Nice. Good dragon take. Right, this game's going better. We've got a lot of pressure as a Lowy right now. Which I like. Yeah, Funnel is kind of in... Yeah, true. Funnel is a cheese. It's an enhanced cheese. That sounds so weird saying. But yeah, true. Very true. So it's... It, I guess funneling would kind of go in the bat, the bracket of a cheese pick. For sure. Jesus Christ, that poor Severe. Not the cleanest of mechanics from Callista. They should just give that kill a run. Run, 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 run. I think that was... Yeah, that was Renekton TP. I kind of feel sorry for this Renekton in a way. I love Renekton as a pick, but it sucks so much that his scaling is so bad. Because, like, he's teleporting. Oh, he might get that kill, though. Yeah, they didn't respect it. Callista just didn't move. Um, and then he survived. God, Callista just doesn't move in her positioning weird um i like him as a pick but he does fall off and it's very hard to make like it's very hard right now i'd say unless you just are a main renekton you love that champion that's what you're gonna play no matter what it's very hard to kind of go i'm gonna pick renekton this game because he gets outscaled by pretty much every meta top laner right now What the hell? Edge of Night Rush. Okay. I guess. They don't want to get hooked. <coughs> yeah, Callista is one of the best kiters in the game, if not the best. And if you watch there, when she was under tower, she could have, like, jumped away. She just flashed. And there, to attack Renekton, she just stood still. So, a little bit weird. Oh. Mm 
Need to get some passive tentacles on the go. Whoa, that damage. They should just like be a bit patient. Again, I'm pretty sure we outscale the enemy team, so we don't need to do anything like nuts. We're slowly winning the game anyway, so when you're slowly winning the game and you outscale, don't do anything crazy. Don't dive outnumbered. Don't. Oh my god, he blew up! I can't get to anybody. Ugh. Oh, we haven't got a Vlad, and they get caught. Come on, dude. She got caught again. Come on. Lantern too late. I think it was on cooldown. Um, this game, should, again, should be really free, but we're not working together. Just kill him, dude. You got... So Okay, you missed a lot of your damage. Now you turn? Too late. If he hit his E, you would have got that kill. Oh my god. These two are... Um... Yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Again, reminding everybody, not trying to be salty or anything, but Vladimir is League's, one of anyway, best team fighting champions. Some basic information that I think everybody should know about Vladimir is whatever targets are that are infected by his ultimate, they get they, they give a buff to the rest of the damage that they get taken for while the ultimate is on that target. So when Vladimir infects, let's say, five people with his ultimate, all of those people that are infected with the ultimate are, sim are taking more damage. That positioning. Wow, that mord. I just couldn't get my tentacle damage down perfectly. All right, we win. Cool. Hey, look, we're together. Woo! And well, we, we we won that pretty easily, and we didn't even use Vladimir ultimate. Woo! Twelve percent more damage yet. Like it's it's a big deal that Vladimir groups and uses his ultimate. By the way, big deal. So if you ever see a split push split pushing Vladimir, you you I I Huzzy Games give you permission to cry on the inside. Okay. Yeah, my W didn't reset. I don't know, that, that felt a bit weird. Like, it just was very slow. Because I ulted after my Death Realm, which meant tentacles would have followed me in. Like, I would have spawned them. But it just kind of seemed that they didn't come. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I think I might have missed that one. The Understander Man, maybe. 13 uh, minutes ago with a four-month Twitch Prime. I don't know if I missed you. If I did, apologies. Thank you so much for the uh, ongoing support. I only had one tentacle, and well, that might have been it. The Pride Hunter for 15 months of Tier 1. Thank you so much, man. Alright, should I start... Again, with a Lowey, by the way, it's kind of like a High Midding or a Teemo, I guess. It's when you're thinking about... Oh, Jesus. When you're thinking about... what you... Oh, my God, we're doing it. I didn't actually mean to do it, but... When you're thinking about you're going to do something, you want to be in the area to start getting your tentacles to spawn. Okay, Thresh is actually... No, come back! Callista! Alright, the enemy team has just fallen off. We could have done the Baron then, but... Oh well. We can still probably do it. 
Yeah, the Jarvan's mucking up quite a lot. But as I said earlier, his build is what's probably his biggest problem. Look at his team. Renekton, Maud, Severe, Senna. Damage, 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 uh, damage, damage. Why is Jarvan, when you can build as tank, would you build damage this game when you actually haven't even had that good of a game? greed dude that's the only that's the only answer to it it has to be greed of like the the batman philosophy the dude thinks he's batman it's okay not to be batman you can be robin and being robin this game arguably would have been more important because he just jumps in to try and kill the callista or whatever and he actually isn't killing her it's not him that's killing her if he was tanky he'd be delaying the damage more he'd be letting his team position better it'd be so important for him but he's just like nope i'm building damage yeah, if I had flashed that fight, that would have gone really good, but... Oh, well. So, because he's not far ahead, because he hasn't had a great game, he doesn't have a lot of items. And, yeah, it, like, it, it... He just needs to... Th this game, you had to put Ego aside. My team's got a full damage team comp. I can build tank this game. It, it's just one of those games. Like, arguably, the same could be said for the Gragas, but we're winning. So, when you're in the winning comp, you can get away with it, obviously, a bit more. Look at that damage. Half health him straight away. Guys, you're ignoring an Alawi in the middle of you. Split pushing Vladimir! Sorry. 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 I got worked up. I got worked up. It's fine. Imagine a Vladimir ultimate on top of my Alawi damage. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Jesus Christ. I'm going to give it to this guy. He played well. Happy thoughts. Um, um. All right. We're good. Praise Buddha. Uh, 6, 4, 11, 240 farm, plus 23, 67 overall, and yeah, did the most damage in the game. It was a pretty good game. Uh, we weren't really getting stopped as a Lowry that much. The only, like, we, I don't think we ever got stopped. It was more like, can I get to that person in a team fight rather than them stopping me? Um, but yeah, a Lowry, when she isn't focused, like this game, we weren't focused. She's really good. But yeah, the enemy comp again was not very good. Uh, we always were going to outscale Renekton. The Jarvan built damage, which was was the wrong idea. And, I, you know, they were practically full AD. We, we said it at the beginning of the game is that, yes, they've got a Maud, but Maud is a AP champion that's melee. He's not going to be able to, like, poke people down or, like, get damage on five people all the time because, like, we've got ranged champions that just won't be near a Maud. So, in essence, they were full AD when you just deal with the Maud. Uh, that's that's pretty easy to beat, especially when you've got like a Renekton that falls off and a Jarvan building squishy when he's not having a great game. A Senna, that's, I don't know. Again, I still have yet to see an amazing Senna. But um, yeah, overall, a pretty smooth game. It did highlight, I'd say, the strength of Alawi, by the way. And some people's like, yeah, how, how to beat Alawi? Literally, you have to disengage when she ults, walk away, then re-engage. Alawi's strength is a lot with her ultimate. And um, yeah. But the enemy team just kept fighting in my ultimate, which is a bit odd. But that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time. Again, sorry for any annoyance at the moment. I do feel like, I don't know, a little bit annoyed in the inside. Maybe it's with everything going on. Who knows? But like, I'm trying to be like happy, calm and everything. But like split pushing Vladimir just as like, um, mm, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it. Like, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time. Peace.